here we are at Ten King Lane, our city's greatest pride and joy. And you can see all the pride and joy that people put in to their light displays. It's phenomenal. And it seems like every year it just gets bigger and more grand continuously. So much pride. They have everything from Sesame Street themed light shows up to just wooden Santa placard displays the ginormous oversized giant displays a lot of inflatable um, displays I'm starting to see come out over the last two years and a lot more this year so far and it looks like only half of the light shows are set up so far but you still have some of the ones kicking around that are like the older older theme displays that they put a lot of pride and joy in and just how much time it takes to set up these displays it's phenomenal they keep doing it every year just to show how much they care for the city because we have 75,000 people that live here and they're pretty well doing it for everyone in the city because everybody knows that this becomes one of the most well-traveled through the November and December months because of the light shows that they have here and how many different themes they go with are just phenomenal. It's so great to see how much pride they have in all of these houses along here. Because it's not like one house here or there. It's pretty long. Once we get into December, there's a lot of houses without their lights on now. But once we get into December, almost every single house here in this whole, um, what is it, about a 6th Street neighborhood every single house has the lights up and on for the whole month of December it's phenomenal to see they have so much pride and do such a good job right they're not just haphazardly done either they do it with a lot of love and I'm sure everybody knows that it's not that cheap to run those kind of lighting displays continuously every night, right? Must be jacking up the hydro quite a bit over the December month. But it's so pleasant to come down and take a break away from the busy life to be able to check out all these displays and just see a complete sense of the holiday season, the community togetherness that you can totally see takes place here, that there's no I in this community. It's like we continuously, and it's so pleasant. It helps you not to have to focus on all the concerns of life all the battles that you go through in your own day-to-day -day when you have something like this that you can go cut free and just drive around and take it in to reset yourself mentally and spiritually get yourself realigned with the uh, whole goodwill towards man because of everybody here that's their whole purpose of lighting up these displays is to show that they care more for others than themselves because they're not doing it for themselves they're doing it for other people every one of these people that set up their displays oh, it's so wonderful to see all the different types of personalities they show so much in all their light displays a big kudos to all the people who partake in setting up all these Christmas lights <laughs> sure makes it a lot nicer to know that there's such a beautiful community still in our city and it's not like this is a super 
um, secure gate community. This is um, just one of our standard communities. But it's so nice to see everybody puts in for it. So beautiful to see. Thank you, Jesus. As it is the season for love, caring, and togetherness. The season for family. The season to celebrate. And the season to give. As we're now on the countdown to the baby Jesus' birth. It's really nice to have a place like this to come and reset daily if you choose. So I hope you guys got a good flavor of just how wonderful it is. I hope your city has um, the same type of a community set up where like our candy cane Isn't that something? The Star Wars display. I didn't get that one. I love that Star Wars display. Darth Vader, Baby Yoda.